Hi, this is Cheryl Lee Ralph. Keep watching The Day Show with Berla. You look stunning in red I with your long hair. Red. You don't play. I love red. You do? That's your favorite yes. color? Yes, red, turquoise, and white. Is it? Yes. Oh, I've seen you in a lot of white. Yes. Red? Have you seen in red often? No. This is the first time. Oh, but really? It, yeah. I have a red car. Oh, actually, yes. <laughs> Actually, but how are you doing? I'm good, Bella. How are you? Two? I'm fine, thank you. It's been a couple of weeks since you joined the Bella, media. Bella, how are you doing? Oh, how are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm looking at you, I'm the part. Do I get a check too? Oh, 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 everything checked. Hey, 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 Everything. Huh? Oh, wait, should we do the check too? OK, you want to do some, OK. Bella. Check. Beauty. Check. English. Check. Height. Check. Beauty. Check. Hair. Face. Hey! Face. <laughs> Your face is everything. Thank Bella. you so much. Thank mm -hmm. you. How is the media general family treating you? Oh, I feel good. La, yeah. La, la, la. <laughs> so I feel very so good. good. Yeah. How do you feel about the welcome that was giving you? I mean, I saw quite a lot of people ask, hey, this Deba, Charlie, it wasn't a joke. But how did you feel when you walked in and you saw everyone so excited to meet you? I honestly don't have the words. I knew I was going to have a very beautiful welcome. Mm. I mean, having a hug from Bella, yeah. it's a beauty, right? Aww. It's so beautiful. So I was just thinking I was going to meet everybody, I mean, maybe in a conference center. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all the outside, we all gather. Mm -hmm. Or maybe when I enter, maybe after a week or two, we have a gathering. You know, it was a shock. Yeah. I knew I would meet Captain on the morning show. Mm. I was just waiting for the usual captain setup yeah. to be there, mm. and here I am. But it was just beautiful. It made me happy. It made you happy. I was, just felt very much home. Was it because probably you were scared of how people would receive the news that you had left a, you know, a company that everybody thought you'd never leave? Oh, Bella, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I think the welcoming was something Media Jenna knew that I deserved. Mm -hmm. And that, <laughs> I don't even have the answer for yeah. it. Um, it, was, it. It blew my mind. Yeah. I have to take it like that. I started yeah. presenting as a guest yeah. Yeah. from Sri Kwa Kwa on Adum TV. Yeah. TV3 here before mm. I've been here. Yeah. Way before music, music, mm -hmm. I come yeah. as a guest sometimes. I had my cooking show first with a bean show. Yeah. So after that, I went to do my own show that I wanted to do it in the house, which was far. Mm -hmm. Why then don't I convert it to the car that can move around? Okay. And that's how come from a bean show, I made my own show, Mac Brown's Kitchen. Mm. And Mac Brown's Kitchen was airing on UTV way before you joined I joined yeah. to be another host mm -hmm. on United Showbiz. Do you get me? Yeah. Mm. Bella, the truth must be told. It's a good show. Mm. I built it. Mm -hmm. And I'm still proud of that platform. You did. You understand? I agree. And it's a good station. It has the masses. But you see, sometimes you feel like moving. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with anybody. UTV has added to me here. Mm -hmm. And probably that is why Media General came for me. You understand? Mm -hmm. A lot of people have insulted you for a very long time. I mean, about your education. I don't want to say this, but even I've seen people who have called you a brewer. Forgive me. <laughs> you but, but I'm just saying some of these I things. I like to think And that, in fact, in way. these past few days and weeks as well, mm -hmm. the insults about your education, they've been overwhelming, even for someone like me who's sitting on the side. How have you managed all this? And how did you feel when all those insults kept, you know, they kept coming at you? Oh, Bella, I'm a grown woman, no? <laughs> I've been on TV for 22 years. Mm. I'm going to my 23rd year. Mm. I don't think anything someone will say right now should be a problem for me. Okay. And that is why mostly I don't respond to issues when they mention my name. I just feel like they, they don't know what they are talking about. Mm. They don't know me. They don't know who I am. Okay. Because 
I have personal issues, I have family problems, I have family goodness and all that. But because I'm in front of you and on your screen, mm. you, you, you can say whatever you want to say about me. But truthfully, the good people, the wise people, the, the genuine people that loves me yeah. will not condemn me like that. Mm. They can accuse me of, Nana, you didn't do this. Yeah. It's like you're tuning me, mm -hmm. which I understand and I agree. But if you make it look so hateful, mm -hmm. that means you have a problem. And they won't get to you? Hey, have, you, Bella, you have you never cried because of comments? Ever since seen? I gave birth, I've stopped crying. You used to cry before then? Before I wanted a child. So any little thing, maybe with that it will get to me. But you know, ever since I've, I gave birth, ah, because your heart was, was full, you had gotten I'm, what I'm you fulfilled always now. wanted. I'm everything I wanted. Mm. I'm everything Jeez, I wanted. a round of applause for this man. Everything you've ever wanted. Everything. You have it. Everything. I, I have life. I have career. I have a home. I have a husband. Mm. I have a child. Yeah. And I'm not too rich because I'm hey, still working. Hey, if you say you're not too rich, then what do the rest of us say? No, that's what people think. That if you're an actress or Nana McBurn is too rich. No, I am working and living within my means. Okay. Yes. But, but would you say that your story is very typical of the adage from grass to grace? Or would you say that you've always had it at the grace level? To be honest, from zero. From zero? From zero. From grass to almighty grace. Tell us about that. Bella, you mentioned that, oh, I'm someone that I didn't have that much education and I'm here and all that. It's not just education. I grew up with my, my mom mm -hmm. for a while. Mm -hmm. We went to my auntie, and then I ended up with my Where grandmother. Where was your dad? Oh, he's around, but he's Your dad there. is still alive? Yes. He's around. He's there. Have you reconciled? Oh, yes, we oh, are fine. Oh, now you have. We'll get to that. Oh, but now we are fine. Carry oh, on. Yes, yeah. oh, yes. I go to my dad, like, every two months. Okay. Yes. But when you were growing up, he was not in your life. I didn't know him till I grew up, but we solved our problem. Okay. We are fine, pa. I see. That's good. So, That's good. Yeah. <laughs> we are fine, pa. Okay. I don't want to hurt him. I won't hurt you, papa. We are very fine. You've forgiven him for whatever We have it is. to forgive each other. We have to. We have to. Maybe if he was in my life, I probably would have been a nurse somewhere in Sevi, mm. which is okay. Yeah. But I'm sure every nurse would want to have my position. Oh, of course. Who doesn't want to have my position? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe a nurse in our hometown, yeah. I assume. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Which is fine, I'll earn a salary, all right. Mm. But I'm sure, Bella, I'm sure Jelly. that... I'm sure that my, my friends, my sisters in my hometown will also want to be like me. Yeah. So I won't change wh who I am for anything. But as you were growing, so... Without your father, you lived with your mom, and then you moved to your aunties? Uh, oh, all in Kwada, so... But we had a family house on the roadside, and... We move in small, small, but I ended up with my grandmom mm. and my auntie. Okay. Yeah, but my auntie has passed. Oh, bless her soul. And my grandmom soul. too passed. Bless her soul as yeah, well. Yeah, but... But when you were living with them, you didn't go to school at all? Oh, I went some. Oh. Okay. We were not that broke. <laughs> <laughs> I went some. I, I actually completed JSS, JHS mm. now, right? Yeah. Yes. And I, I wanted to continue because the question of, hey, now we'll go to school. Mm -hmm. And I'm at school for you now, go to school now, TV. Yeah. And then they say, I promise school fees are now. And truthfully, near for me, school fees, eh? Hey. Oh, near. Oh, me. I'm popular for sacking. <laughs> sacking. Oh, when they are coming to sack, everybody will turn and come and look around. Because they know you'll be on the list. They know that I'll go home. Did it not affect you psychologically and emotionally as a child? It did. Mm. It did. Mm -hmm. I, will, I, I will plead with every parent, young women, if you give birth. Please help your child. Shaya mm. Breo. And Ghanaian children, we have tried. Congrats to all of us. Congrats to all of us. Because most of us are from the home that we, like I said, we don't grow up with our father. Mm -hmm. Our mother is too busy. We don't even know what time to go to bed. We don't even have a family that prays in the morning. Yeah. Or we don't, the, the, your family be or hard. The mother will make sure we did day and you may mm -hmm. be, we, most of us don't have it like that. Mm -hmm. When you are growing from 18, 19, or you realize that you know you have to find your way. 
you have to find whether you can sow, you sow, what if you can sell something, you know? Yeah. And when it happens like that, already the children are bedding. Yeah. It's just that they don't know what kind of load mm -hmm. they're having. But they, they always feel like nobody is there for them. And I felt so. Yeah. I just felt like, is my mom not doing enough? Why is it that I'm, I'm, I'm suffering? Mm -hmm. I will go to school, I'll be sacked. And for me to even complete JHS, I will say a very big thank you to one of our teachers who, who was renting in my grandmom's small house. Okay. Yes, Mr. Sabri. He's alive. Oh. He was a teacher at Kwadaswa well GSS. And that man was renting in our house. So, a Pamumi GSS school fees now. No, my friend and him. No, only headmaster, Kokasa. No, I'm a Oh. Yeah. And I'm sure there are teachers out there like that. Yeah. That have been supportive to some students. And it's really a blessing. God should bless teachers. Pa, God should really bless pa teachers. teachers. Yes. Have you, have you met Mr. Sabri? Mr. Oh, Mr. Sabri, yes. Have you met him? Oh, yes, I've center? gone to him like six months ago to check on him. Aww. We spoke not long ago, like two months. We spoke not That's long nice. ago. That's yes. nice. He's a family, though. Mm. Not like family, family, but what now if you're watching into only family. <laughs> but if you look at all these things that have happened in your life, what are some of the lessons that you've taken from your life experiences? Hmm. I just think that, or I feel that, or what I would say is this. Everybody, no matter what, you should be humble. Mm. No matter what. Mm. Be humble and grateful. Because right now, from where I, I, I am from no, to here, with this little stardom and little small, small money I'm getting, if you don't take care, it's like a spirit. Mm. Stardom is like a spirit. It will take over your life. And by the time you realize, you've hurt a lot of people. So no matter what you are doing and where God is taking you, just remember to be humble and enjoy what you are earning. Mm. Enjoy it. But in fact, you treat your new penis. Okay. That was it. Okay. And then, yeah, don't splash it in the faces of people. And not, yeah. There are some of the things, if I buy a car, and I'm in the car. If you see me driving it two, three times, four times, nothing should mm. tell you is not mine. It is mine. But it's not when I'm going to buy the car, I'm not like that. Yeah. I'll put the phone, hey, everybody, yo, check me out. I'm buying, this is 2014, yeah. 2024, this, this, and yeah, we're wild one. No. But your cars are splashed all over social media anyway. And that's what I'm saying, they will yeah. see it. They will see it. Yeah, so if, you, if you've taken note of me, you don't see what I do uh, to boom. Yeah. It's out there. That one, I don't control that. Yeah. It is time for it to be boom out there. But, you, but in the process, mm -hmm. I like to keep it cool whilst I'm doing it. And then when you see me do, done, or when I'm done, that's when you see it. That's the problem with a, a lot of us in the industry. We, we tend to show things before they even bloom into whatever they are supposed to bloom into. And you get people saying all kinds of things about it. But you should know that we are different, no? Right? Yeah. Me, in, in my strategical line, I'm a TV My imagery is that I'm a media. I'm be hunting. In the beginning, I want to, by the time I'm buying, you won't see it. Mm. What are they? Mm -hmm. Once a while, I would do that, which is intentional. Mm -hmm. Once a while, yeah. I would do that. I have shoes that I'll buy. I don't put Snapchat on it. Mm -hmm. I stopped doing Snapchat because it was showing my daily activities. Oh, you were addicted to it? Yes. And uh, when you are somewhere, you are in town, you buy, I say, hey, what's the name of Hey, Nana, you chili or an own friend. Hey. <laughs> so since when I knew that, Mikwa, when I post, I don't think that people watch. But somebody you don't even, you think you are hiding. And I knew that. So, yes. But let's come to motherhood. And I should say thank you very much for opening up to me. I remember on this same day show, yes. you came, you gave me your time, and you told me the journey and what it took for you to eventually become a mother. That story has been told over and over again. Yeah. But if you look at those other women who are struggling just to have a baby, some of them going through miscarriages, huh. IVF, it fails, they have to try again. What would you say to them? Bella, it's heartbreaking. Mm. 
if you have not been there before, you will not understand it. All you say is, oh, so dear, no, no, they be a unquana o peba. But, and toa. Da. Say toa. Unto me no. Into your say and toa, I day. Da. It's a situation no woman should go through that. And every day I blessed God that my first pregnancy, I was able to see the child. Mm. You saw the child. That is Maxine. This is the first one. Before this is, that, you had never. This is my child, my first pregnancy. Mm. Some people go through it three times, four times, miscarriages. And some, I know someone who has done IVF for the seventh time. What? Yes. Seventh? Yes. That's how disheartening it is. That's how it can bring you down. Wow. You are not owing anybody. Mm -hmm. You are not, you have your house. You are rich. Mm -hmm. You are living good. You're driving good car. But that thing in the middle of the road can make you stop. Yeah. And for a minute you may not know why. Then you, when they started, they start to, they start blowing the horn. You want to park somewhere and cry small before you continue. Oh. If you have all this and you're in traffic, eh? Mm -hmm. And you're in your car, especially when you're alone. And then you see Obi Oton and Dia, Akolabi Shenichi, and then Oshie Uya Ebo, and then Tumebi Achichira Akolano, and then Sumbi Akolano Suwa, and then Nima Draw Draw, and then once Nebi Ebo Akolano, and then Kombi Abi Adi Akolano and Bella, you would want to go and take the child yeah. from the mother, but mm -hmm. she won't give it to you. Is that something you, you thought about when you were trying to have oh, a baby? Oh, I, I, I went through a lot severally. Oh, Bella, severally. You won't see how it happened, but the moment your eyes get to see the baby or whatever situation, it comes back to you, well, into your senses, and you, 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 you start talking to God. You start, look, even now, I wish I can give birth just like that, because I want to have more children. It's not coming? It won't come. I have to do IVF again. Hmm. Well, I've gone through a lot. My system will not permit me. To do another IVF? To, to have a natural birth. So you have to use the do scientific IVF. means? Yes. Are if you should tell you that start? I went through a lot in yeah. the system. Yeah. Bella, some people have gone through this that all their tubes are no more. It's, it's a very sensitive topic. Does, does it annoy you then when, because you post your baby a lot, and mm. I know it's out of gratitude for what God has done for you, but sometimes you see the comments and they're like, oh, why is Ooh. a baby all over social media? It's two ways. Some people say it politely and they're with you. Mm -hmm. You feel like they're with you. And some people think that you're just doing showing off. Yeah. So they say it anyhow. Me, when you are talking to me, whether I know you or not, I will listen. Depending on where you're coming from, the mood and your words, mm. I will know I really need, I needed these words. Yeah. I, I, but from the way you are talking to me, I think you are right. So you reduced the posting of your... Oh, your I have. I've noticed that. Yes, I have. But, I mean, aside here, recently you adopted a baby and I saw the video. I mean, the little girl, right? Yes. I thought that was really touching. Why, why did you adopt her? What was the circumstance? Because they said she had lost her mom. Yes. Which is why, yeah. Yes. Um, the reason why I didn't even post about it, I think the video came out from a church member. Okay. I didn't post about it. I did a video, wealth video done, but mm. I put it down for her. Oh, okay. And um, she's my daughter now. So, it's official? Yes, it's official. Her dad gave it to me, her to her me. Her to you. So she lives with you? Yes, yeah, she's in my house now. She lives in the same room with Ma Maxine. Wow. Yes. The same nanny is taking care of you. Yeah. Yes. Wow. God so, bless you, Nana. <laughs> thank you. It's amazing. I always say this. I remember I, I saw a little baby in the north somewhere. I don't know why I never reached out to you. I remember you saying I that told too. You, yes. She looked exactly like you. And for that reason, I wanted to adopt her. Unfortunately, you should have, you should no, have. I did the back and forth, and they said I they know. won't let her go. I hope she's well wherever she I, is, yes. children. And I know that it's not just a little girl that you've adopted. You have so many kids around you. God bless you I'm for that. And for everybody. So yeah, for when everyone. God speaks to me, and, then, and I have the strength. No, no, adopters, we are ready. Or 
We'll be right back. We have a game to play with Anama McBrown. Don't go anywhere. This is a day show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it.